Welcome everyone to the 2019 Economic Summit, our 16th such event. Uh, I'm Mark Duggan, the Wayne and Jody Cooperman Professor here in Stanford's Economics Department, and also the Trioni Director of the Stanford Institute for Economic Policy Research, also known as CEPR. Uh, many of you, most of you, I think, are familiar with CEPR, but for those of you who aren't, uh, we try to support research here that can improve uh, economic policy in the U.S. and around the world, and we try hard to get that research into the hands of people who can act on it. Um, as part of CEPR's mission, we try to promote dialogue uh, by convening thought leaders at events like this, and I'm also very proud of the fact that another facet of our work is to involve young people like undergraduates, graduate students, and even recent graduates in what we do. Um, but all of you in this room make this possible for that through your support, and for that I'm extremely grateful. And I'm really so happy to see all of you here for our 16th annual summit. Uh, as always, we have a really busy day planned for you that digs into uh, some of the biggest economic issues. Before starting on that, I thought it was useful to reflect at uh, where the economy has come in recent years. I looked into this, and it turns out that one so as of tomorrow, uh, that will mark 10 years from the absolute low of the financial markets after the financial crisis. So the, on March 9th, 2009, that is when stock markets, the Dow and the S&P 500 hit their lows. And since then, we have come a long way economically here in the U.S. and around the world. I believe the S&P has more than quadrupled over that time period. Uh, and obviously, there's been a lot of interesting economic policies. So Hard to know what the next 10 years will bring, but we're certainly in a very different place today than we were uh, 10 years ago. Uh, much of what we're going to be talking about today is related to technological advances, policy shifts, and politics that we've living, been living through these past 10 years. Uh, and kicking things off for us today will be uh, Patrick Collison. Patrick is the CEO of Stripe, an online payment system, and you'll hear more about Patrick in a moment. He started the company with his brother just nine years ago when he was about 21 years old, and since then, Stripe has grown uh, to be a very successful uh, company, and you'll hear more about that later. Along with internet-based success stories like Stripe, we've also become well aware of the darker side of the web, the internet, internet's early promises of greater connectivity and making our lives easier and more convenient have certainly come true, but they've also given way to increasingly significant concerns about privacy and safety and trust. So along with that, uh, in, uh, our next session will have discussions today about competition and advances in the tech world, as well as the concerns that many of these businesses and their customers are dealing with. And we'll be talking about a pretty old product that is experiencing a major economic trans, uh, transformation because of changing policies. Marijuana has gone from a black market street drug to a legally grown, uh, sold and used substance that has created a booming market. But it is a tricky one, as states are debating and passing their own laws to regulate and control cannabis while the federal government still outlaws it. Uh, we'll be talking quite a lot about trade policy as well and the impacts of recent changes and potential future changes, changes in the weeks and months ahead. Um, Mary Callahan Erdos, the CEO of JP Morgan Asset and Wealth Management, will give her insights uh, after lunch from an investor's perspective, and I'm really looking forward to the conversation she'll be having this afternoon with Daryl Duffy, one of the senior fellows here at CEPR and a professor in Stanford's Graduate School of Business. And of course, tonight, we're all looking forward to hearing from Jerome Powell, who will be delivering tonight's uh, dinner keynote and talking about the issues before the Federal uh, Reserve. I want to give a, a really big thank you to all of my CEPR colleagues who will be participating in today's panels. Uh, I already mentioned Daryl Duffy, but we're also joined today by Professors Nick Bloom, Alan Sykes, Judy Goldstein, Kay Casey, Greg Roston, and Heidi Williams. They'll be leading and participating in some of the discussions in this room, as well as during our critical issues sessions that begin in the afternoon. Before I go any further, I also want to give a very big thank you to our corporate sponsors this year, Dodge and & Cox and Hydric and & Struggles. Their support is really instrumental in making this year's summit possible. We're incredibly grateful to all of our supporters and our new friends, as well as uh, those of you who have been with us for years. And, uh, and all of you who make an important contribution, not only to the summit and our other events that we host throughout the year, but also to the research we foster at CEPR, our programs for students, and many other efforts. So again, I'm really incredibly 
uh, thankful for the support. Let me just go over a few logistics, though. So we're covering a lot of ground today, and you can help us uh, by um, helping, try to, help, try to help us by making sure that each session starts on time. If your dinner plans have changed, please let uh, people know at the front desk, at the registration desk. Uh, and there are signs outside this room and information, the programs you've received with info on the critical is issue sessions that will take place uh, this afternoon. They'll all run from 4.15 to 5.15, and they're all being held off the record. Uh, so those should be interesting. As, you're, as always, you'll have a hard time, I think, picking the best one to attend. We have a panel on Brexit, another one on emerging markets, and a third one on innovations in the healthcare sector. Uh, restrooms, if you need them, just going through the logistics, are right outside this room to the right, and then you can go further down beyond the Alumni Cafe, there's another set there. Uh, we're recording all the sessions in this room, and those vid videos and summaries uh, of each panel will be available through the CEPR website in the coming weeks at cper.stanford.edu. We're also live tweeting from today's summit, and you can join in on that conversation using the hashtag CEPR Summit. And we'll be posting a few interviews with some of our panelists and several other highlights on our face Facebook page throughout the day. Uh, thanks again to all of our speakers and panelists and to all of you uh, for spending the day with us. And I'd also like, uh, like to give a big thank you to three groups, maybe uh, to the outstanding staff at CEPR, to the Stanford Event Services, and to the team that's helping us from Paula LaDuke. So could we please uh, give a round of applause to them? Thank you.